Every agency might have a website, but not every agency is doing their brand reputation as best as they could be, including mine. In today's video, we're gonna go over how to expand your agency's SEO while also increasing your brand reputation. Let's do it. That intro was sweet. What's up guys, it's Icon back here again. Today, we're gonna be going over how to increase your agency SEO while also increasing your brand reputation. Now, this is episode like five in the daily video contest and this is, I gotta say, daily content is not easy, but you know, we're doing it, we're making it happen, so let's get into today's video. Really excited about this video was inspired by my buddy, Ruan, who is a master in SEO, and if you wanna learn more about SEO for your agency, you can check out his channel, right in the car, one, one or the other. Getting into the video, every, every agency has a website, and a lot of you guys probably also have a Facebook page and a LinkedIn profile, but could you be getting yourself on a couple more social media platforms to expand your reach? I wasn't, and I didn't realize it until I uh, tuned in my buddy's video. So, Ruan, I'm sorry for stealing your content. So, let's head over to the laptop here. Whoop, boom, on the laptop. What's up? I am absolutely trash when it comes to SEO, but luckily, that's what I have other people for. So, um, don't think this is a word for word tutorial, but this is a good step in the right direction. Cool little fun fact that I learned today, and I'm happy to pass it on to you guys. So, let's look at some really good SEO. Ruan's company, Developmark. Look at this. Oh, type in Developmark. It is the first thing that comes up. Um, and you have it where you've got every single ranking on this Google page is got the word Developmark in it, which is awesome. I mean, look, it's on Twitter. It's on Yelp. You got images. You got Ruan's beautiful looking face. Look at that stud. Oh, my God. Marry me. But let's look at the actual platforms he's on here. So he's on his own website. So what does he got here? Let's list it out. He's got a website. View. Websites. Then he's go ahead and he's got a ripoff report. I'm assuming someone was just grumpy. But uh, let's just go. We'll qualify that under reviews. Could be better for SEO. You know. Um, owner. So you got the LinkedIn. Then over here you have Glassdoor. That's awesome. That's something I never even thought about. Having your employees review you puts another thing and it puts it right here. Look at that, he's even got two rankings for Glassdoor. How working for a developer mark changed my life. That title is hot. My God, hot. Um, so we have Glassdoor getting employer reviews in there. Uh, we have Google Images below here. Images, these are a couple of sources from Twitter, yada, yada, yada. Um, below that you have Yelp and then you have Twitter. And all in all, just those simple platforms give him enough to completely dominate the page on Velomark. Now that's cool and all, but let's look at a real agency. Oh yeah, all right, ranking fucking three. Let's go. So uh, in comparison, this is uh, this is Ruan's site here. Let's put that there. And uh, in comparison, I am uh, I have a website and uh, yeah, that's about it. Oh, me! So, if we look at a couple of the other people on the site, um, for those of you guys that don't know, my company's online his name is Clever. Don't try to steal that because people already have tried. I got that bitch copyrighted. <laughs> Mess with me. Um, but when you look at other things, I have Clever Furniture, um, uh, overview of Clever. Sl Clever is now Cleaver. This guy spelled it Cleaver, which is just dumb. Cleaver Logic, bunch of bunch of just not good stuff. And I want it to be where Clever Solution shows up and comes onto my site. So let's look at a couple of things that I could be doing here. So for a plus, I can make my account a Twitter page. I could go ahead and probably get some Glassdoor reviews for my VAs. Even if you don't have employees. You could probably wing this and go ahead and like hit up your mom, hit up your buddies and be like, yo, I work for uh, ABC Media down the road, best employer ever. Uh, Yelp reviews, that's gonna be a crucial one. Anytime that you have a client and get a case study, you should be giving that, having them give you a review on either Yelp or your Facebook page. For me, I try to focus mostly on the Facebook page, but I guess a good split down the middle for Yelp would be positive as well. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Uh, LinkedIn. Ooh, don't even have that yet. LinkedIn. And let's get ourselves an angry review. That's that's important. I want I want people to be talking shit about me. I like 
that. Um, so with this current thing, see, this is a kind of cooler laundry list for me to go down. Probably also would be helpful for you guys if you throw in maybe an Instagram on there. You really want to get creative? Fuck it, throw a Twitch on there. How about that, huh? You could even go even more in depth. YouTube. Um, and let's throw... Yeah, you know, I'll call it there. Now, the reason that it's easier, from my understanding, of to get ranked for these things is because Google already understands that websites like Facebook, Yelp, Glassdoor, they're already big sites. So getting ranked in these sites will give you much more of a higher push than getting ranked on like joesreviews.com because these are more recognized and people will have a lot more traffic. Again, I'm not an SEO guy, go to Rwanda. Let's go ahead, you know what, I'll take a look at my website. Now, in one of my videos, I talk about how your agency doesn't need a website. And well, that's because for my entire time as running agency, I've never had anyone actually like come to look at my site. So I didn't really pay attention to it, but I did pay this guy on WordPress to sign one up for me. I don't even think I ever actually looked at it, so let's take a look here. Bruh. Jesus Christ. This guy totally owes me money. Wow. Wow, this is awful. It's still got the Italian theme font. I mean, the colors are happy. I like happy colors. Oh, ew. Ugh. All right, I'm gonna need to work on this. Wow. Okay. So new idea. Here's what I'm gonna do. I know that setting yourself, let's look at little ones. Nice little LinkedIn page here. Check it out. See how fancy it looks. Okay, it looks pretty good. He's got a beautiful little picture there. My God, you're so sexy. And a little team shot. Throws a lot of, wow, Ruan's articles and activity. Okay, not bad. Not bad. Looks pretty good. Let me go ahead and uh, pull up mine here so I can talk about how awesome I am, too. Bruh. Jesus Christ! Why can't I have anything as good as Ruan? <laughs> Alright, well, this video has uh, definitely opened my eyes that a lot of work needs to be going in as an agency owner. Um, I really need to be stepping up my game in a lot of fields. So I guess I'm gonna end this up. This wasn't really designed to be a uh, mass pack video. So what I'm probably gonna do is I'm gonna bring in someone that's killing it in each one of these niches for maybe like killing their agency on Twitter, getting reviews on Yelp, someone that's really educated on, on websites, and probably get a little bit of some LinkedIn knowledge. And I'll make those each a separate video so you guys as agency owners can come in and build out your agencies on each one of these social profiles as I'm going to. I'll make it a separate video and that takes out like five videos out of the month. So booyah for me. So in summary, making posts on each one of these different sites could dramatically uh, increase your SEO and allow you to kind of conquer your front brand name. So even if you're not gonna be posting consistently on Instagram or Twitter, I would still go ahead and capture the handle on them. So one, nobody can take that from you and try to sell it to you later. But two, it makes it look like you're more robust and well dominated. And a lot of the media that you make for Instagram can be recycled to Twitter via apps like If This Then That, or you could just recycle them yourself, maybe even have your VA do it. If you don't know what any of those last terms mean, go ahead and comment them down below and I'll make some follow-up videos on how to use If This Then That to post on only one social media platform. And I'll probably make a training later this week about how to hire your first VA to manage your social platform. Anyways, guys, I've got a lot of work to do here, so I'm gonna go ahead and get to that today. I hope this helps as well. Ugh. This is a little quick tip. This is Quick Tips with Icon. If you enjoyed the content, you know what to do. I'll see you next time. <laughs>